No doubt Jimmy Kimmel is one of the hottest late night talk show hosts on television. Uh, certainly his show, Jimmy Kimmel Live, recently moved to the 11.30 p.m. time position. Seen weeknights right here on News Channel 5. And Kimmel certainly holding his own against longtime late night comedians Jay Leno and David Letterman. And News Channel 5's Lee Jordan joins us live from L.A. where it's sunny and warm, I guess, where she spoke with Kimmel. Lee, how's, how's he handling all the attention? <laughs> Well, you know what? It was a very interesting conversation. First, I want to say I'm a little sorry about the hair. It's really windy here today, too. There's this summer-like breeze blowing through my hair, so, you know, I apologize if it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> we watched Jimmy Kimmel's show yesterday from his greed room, which itself is quite a place. If stars are hanging out, it's got a pool table, pinball machines, all kinds of memorabilia, and, of course, Guillermo, who I got to visit with for a while. But talking to Jimmy Kimmel, we were ushered onto his set as the audience moved outside at the end of the show to hear the live music. And we all lined up about four local media crews, and then we got to talk to him right there on the set of Jimmy Kimmel Live. Wonder why the floor on Jimmy Kimmel's set is so shiny? As soon as the audience is out, these guys are polishing away. As they rolled up the carpet, they lined up the TV affiliate crews. And in moments, there he was, the new crown prince of late night, Jimmy Kimmel, ready to take our questions. I'd say Howard Stern, David Letterman, and Mad Magazine are probably my biggest influences. Then it was my turn. Hello. Hey. How are you? I'm Lee Jordan from Hi. Cleveland. Welcome. I wanted to know about that Matt Damon show. Was there anything that happened in that show that you weren't expecting? Um, I hate to ruin it, but it, none of it was a surprise. In fact, we, we worked on it. Matt was here the day before. We planned the whole thing. We, he was here all day the day of the show. We, you know, I, I wrote the monologue for him. I mean, it was, it, it, I wish it was a surprise, but the only thing that was a surprise is when Robin Williams gave me a lap dance and then um, Nicole Kidman followed and also gave me a lap dance. That was, that was surprising. It was pretty provocative. Yes, it was. Both of them were. How did you hear the news that you were going to move to 1135 after all the maneuvering and the shenanigans that went on with the late night show? How did you get the news? An angel came to me in the night, <laughs> and that angel hovered above my bed and said, you are the chosen one. You are going to be on at 1135, and then kissed me gently on the forehead. And it turned out it was one of Charlie's angels. It was Farrah Fawcett. She came back from the dead to give me this news. I know that that's a better story, but really just my agent called me and told me on the phone. <laughs> I wish I had a better anecdote. Yeah. Well, so you're opposite now your idol, David Letterman. What does that feel like for you? It's a little weird, but, you know, it's, it's not like... Um, we're both starting out at the same time, and there's some really some vicious competition going on. I mean, Dave is, to me, the greatest talk show host ever, and, uh, you know, and always will be, no matter what anyone else does, in my opinion, anyway. 